Hi guys, it's Grow Girl 918 coming at you with our first video and today I thought I'd show you how to calibrate a digital pH meter. Uh, just to go ahead and get things moving along quickly, I you need to go ahead and uh, fill each of the three glasses uh, with 250 milliliters of distilled water. This one back here is just distilled water uh, to rinse in between uh, the dippings. Now, uh, each meter is going to have its own uh, directions and ways to calibrate it. And this is how I do this uh, particular one that I purchased on Amazon uh, for about $15, $16. Uh, nothing super high end uh, and it works very well. Um, but you want to make sure that you calibrate these every so often. And inside of here, I'm not sure if you can see this, but there is a... Um, like a glass vial there where it sits in its own, like I guess you might, what you might call a pH solution. Uh, and it needs to stay in there and be protected and stay wet at all times. So you always wanna make sure you recover, uh, you know, after you uh, use this, just put the lid back on uh, and make sure it's stored somewhere, uh, you know, where you, you can't just stay wet or, or get dried out all the time. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and, as you can see, there's an on off button and a calibration button. Now uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, dip it in the first solution, solution which is a 6.86. And once you uh, hold it down in there, you're gonna hold it for five seconds on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dip it in the solution. So I'm gonna hold it down, ready? One, two, three, Four, five, and as you can see it says 6.86 just like this solution is here which means that was done accurately now you're gonna uh, want to make sure that you dip it in uh, this distilled solution to kind of rinse off the first uh, pH solution powder in between dippings like I said and you don't want to rub this really hard you want to just lightly dab uh, now we're going to go ahead and do the second one, which is the 4.01, but on this one, we're still going to hold it down for five seconds once it's inserted in the solution, but after the five seconds, we're going to release and fast press uh, one time, and at the end of that, it should say the correct reading, uh, the 4.0. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Release, fast press. And as you can see, it says the correct reading uh, of the 4.0. Okay, so we're gonna dip it back in this solution here. Uh, it's just the, the distilled water. And we're going to uh, dab that off again, just slightly dab. And now we're gonna do the same on this one, but on this particular one, we are going to fast press it twice after we hold it down for the uh, recommended five seconds. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and fast press, and fast press. And as you can see, it does say the correct reading as it should, and that means the calibration is complete, and we are ready to use it.